Okay, let's get started. Hi everyone, we are Team Training Alchemist. Today we are going to present our project Unsupervised Scene Detection in 2D Animation Using Beta VAE Model and Quantization. We are going to walk you through the problem, the data set, our approach, the testing results, and final conclusion. In movie industry, automated scene change detection process could help video editors process videos much faster with less efforts. This automation could be achieved by comparing the latent space inside Beta VAE Model of each image. Besides the difficulty of tuning an appropriate model, sampling latent representations from a continuous distribution could generate noise for calculating divergence, which would in turn raise practical concerns like inference latency and memory usage. The previous methodology of solving scene detection related problem is proposed by Rao. They use a supervised learning approach. The novelty of our work is twofold. First, we propose using beta VAE model in performing scene detection tasks in an unsupervised way. Second, we apply post-quantization method to our developed model to reduce memory bandwidth and inference latency while maintaining similar scene detection accuracy. Below are several pictures illustrating the scene changes. The red box is classified as valid scene change while the orange, orange box does not. The data set we used is a unique frames from the film Kimi no Nawa. The film has a frame rate of 30 frames per second and the duration is 112 minutes. We randomly split the full data set into training and validation, and the data augmentation methods are also listed here. I'll now walk you through the overall methodology. We first pre-process the data as described above, then input the frames to the beta VAE model and minimize the total loss, which consists of MSE loss and KL divergence loss. We also experiment different hyperparameters, including beta and latent space dimensions. After training the model, we apply it to our validation set and extra latent space for each frame. We calculate the KL divergence between two consecutive frames and rank it. Then we pick top end pairs of images with highest KL divergence and label them as scene changes. Lastly, we do post weight quantization to our trained models and compare the performance of Flow32 model and in it model on different machines. The beta VAE architecture consists of mainly two parts, the encoder and decoder. There are five 2D convolutional layers in the encoder with all layers using value activations. The input is 64 times 64 size RGB representation in three channels. At the end of encoder, we get 10 dimensional mean and various factors as the latent representation of data. Moving to the decoder, we generate latent features of the data under in independent multi Gaussian distribution. With exactly the opposite process in the encoder, the decoder contains four 2D transposed convolutional layers with RALU activation at, after each. The final layer then reconstructs the image with the same shape as input. Next, we move on to model quantization and we quantize our models on, different two, on two different CPUs and the results will be shown in the following slides. In terms of the evaluation matrix, we use scene detection accuracy as scene change evaluation matrix and use memory bandwidth and inference latency as quantization evaluation matrix. The results here indicate that Beta, when beta equals to 2 and latent dimension equals to 10, outperforms all other models in terms of the accuracy of all scene changes and the accuracy of the scene changes selected by top 100 KL divergence values. Additionally, the quantized model has similar accuracy than a non-quantized model. We also observed that quantization from Flow32 to int 8 can significantly reduce the size of the model in our memory. The most reduction happens to the encoder. For inference latency, the int A models are slightly slower than the Flow32 models due to hardware constraints. However, we do expect processors with Intel Deep Learning Boost to benefit from the int A precision. We also use TSNE to visualize our latent space. We observe that frames from the same scene are clustered together in the latent space and disentangled from the other clusters. The, so our conclusion for the, this project is that the beta VAE model is empirically proved to have a good performance in scene detection problem. And our results show that quantization is able to reduce model size while maintaining similar or even better model, model accuracy.